In this problem, we have to find the derivative of this function, solution. So we know that if you take the derivative with respect to x of ln x, you just get 1 over x. So here, if we took the derivative, we would get 1 over all of this stuff, and then times the derivative of all of this stuff. That's a horrible quotient rule. So what we'll do is we'll first rewrite this. So whenever you have a log and you have a fraction, you can use the quotient rule. This will be ln of the top piece minus ln of the bottom piece. You can always do that, right? Again, the formula was if you have ln of a over b, you can write that as ln a minus ln b. That's called the quotient rule for logarithms. Okay, now we're ready to take the derivative. So y prime, so again, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, so here it'll be 1 over all of this stuff times the derivative of that stuff. That's the chain rule. Well, the derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. This is times e to the x minus, and then 1 over all of this stuff times the derivative, whoops, whoops, times the derivative of this stuff. So the derivative of 1 is 0, and then the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, but we still have the negative there, so we've got to be careful. Cleaning this up, we have y prime equals e to the x over 1 plus e to the x, and then minus and minus is plus, so plus e to the x over 1 minus e to the x. And that is the final answer. Hope that made sense.